the cameras are on, uh, the microphones are on. Is it going up and down, Rambo? Yeah. Yes, good. <laughs> so they can hear us. One thing we didn't check, I will just check them. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's yeah, Tuesday, and that can only be mean one thing. Another catalogue of errors with mod shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it five minutes, so there'll be a lot more to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> catalogue of errors. It's, I suspect the problem with doing this show at this time is that we don't really give ourselves enough time to finish the day's work and then get on with this. No, but, uh, right. well. but anyway, anyway, we're talking about jeans. We, we are going to talk about jeans this evening. Uh, um, let me just do some quick hellos before we get going. Because um, I'm, I'm as, some people As per it. usual, as Lance is reading out now, leave your comments if you have an opinion on anything that we discuss tonight. We'd love to hear it. Andy Goffrey, Jason Dar, 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 Dar Dairy, sorry. D Dairy, yes, right. My mum has put normal always. Neil Gibbs, Pete Cole, um, Andrew Ingram, and Debbie. Your, your aunt Debbie's watching, mm. and, and no doubt some more suspects along any moment now. Anyway, yeah, before we, we get into that, we're going to cool. talk about this very choice beer that Andy <laughs> yes. selected for us. This is the first time, th this edition, where he's found one that I don't really like. And we've got Clockwork Tangerine by Brewdog. Let me get that right in close. Can you see that Rambo on the screen? Mm -hmm. And uh, as it says on the tin, it does have a kind of tangerine flavour. Does it? Doesn't. Well, well, let's have a go, shall we? Not with, not with beer. It tastes like it tastes. Tastes. I remember when I was a kid, and there was like a medicine that you could have that had a bit. I think it's like the Cowpol Six Plus. That's what it tastes like. I don't like it. Well, I started off. Most of these ones were going. Oh, I don't know. And then by the end of it, I've gulped the lot. So oh, I'll no drink good. it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> the, uh, the but it, not the best. It does have a little bit of a perfume taste. Because yeah, that's what I mean. Because it's not even. Because a lot of brew dogs ones have a sort of great fruity sort of taste to them, and that works. Yeah. Sort of sweet, but it's not even sweet, is it? No. That's the thing. No, anyway. no, no, no. Anyway, jeans. We, jeans. We're going to talk about tonight. We were going to just talk about straights or skinnies and things like that. Um, but there's so much more to jeans. So, jeans been around arguably for hundreds of years in the UK, really since the fifties. Yeah. Um. Uh. It's famously the Americans brought them over, I think, during the war. Everybody wanted them during the 50s, you know, trying to get older Levi's. You had to go to, I think, army search places to get. Certainly, by the time you got to the mods in the 60s, they didn't want dark jeans like this. Right. They they wanted light, light blue jeans. Um, and it was kind of, it was one of those things where young mods would know American soldiers. So that's perhaps why they might know somebody like Gino Washington. Okay. Moving on though, what was your first pair of jeans? My first, my very first pair of jeans, I, I can't remember. To Can be you honest. Not? It must have been something that my mum would have bought me or something. I mean, back when we were at school, like it, it you know, it tended to be a, an era where more people wore more tracksuits than jeans, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Like in primary school sort of era. I remember the first pair of jeans I bought myself. Okay. Which were uh, from a trendy shop in town. And they, they were like a pair of very dark blue jeans, like sort of you know that kind of what do you like like a sort of like paint on them yeah, yeah. effect but they were like boot cut oh okay like because they were we're just, coming on to talk about yeah boot they, they were po they were sort of popular at the time and like i looked back there's some cut a couple of photos of me in them when i was younger and like not, mm. not good not there's good. some pictures of me that my mum's got i think or cousin karen has and i've got some what we call tesco jeans on which simon Pars talked about in the past they were so cheap they made look like they were made out of carpet. You could brush your hand down. I'm sorry, Mum, but they were awful. <laughs> uh, um, you could brush your hand down like that. But I think in '81, I got my first pair of skinnies. So I'd only been probably well, not skinnies, but you know, not flared. Yeah. Um. So I would have been about ten or eleven. Mum might be able to set me straight on that one. And Maybe. I think they were Levi's. I think she got them out of the club book. But they were my my only good pair of jeans. Yeah. You know, well, it's kind are, of, yeah. it goes on, doesn't it? I mean. Uh... Yeah, so we're we're going to talk about double denim. Very quickly. now. Well, let's get on to double denim because we get we get up to the seventies. So, so double so double denim for me. Um, there's uh, I know you've got some pictures to show a little bit later on, but um, there's sort of like playing on the sort of cowboy thing. Yep. In some of the earlier Elvis movies, there's some good things with him in the double I, denim, uh, and it, yeah. and it, and in that you know the double denim. See, my opinion on double denim is fine as long as they're not the same color. Oh right, okay. Like so, so like so. Mod shoes do a nice range of white denim jackets. Just, just to mention that. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, and I've and I've got one, and white denim jacket with the 
dark blue jeans, I think looks great. But right. but um, and I, I, over the weekend I watched that film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh and yes. There's a scene in that where he's wearing white jeans and a white denim jacket. It's like. Now you've seen Moon. Moon looks a bit like that on the front of the My Generation yeah. LP. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Possibly too. But certainly when they're matching blues, uh, denim jacket and denim jeans. Obviously denim jeans. Yeah, yeah. Um, then it just looks it's too cowboy. Well, it's it's it's, it's a dip. This is for me, for me for me personally. All right. Now we're going to show the one in a minute. Let me just do a few more hellos, Paul, because I lose them otherwise. Uh, Oxford Paul and Paula, Andrew Money, Tim Wilson, Pete, Pete Peter Rickwood, Tony Boa. Um, Pete Cole is uh, free Britney Spears. Yes, please. I don't get that. Pete Cole has also put Forever in Blue Jeans, as in the song by Neil Diamond, which is a great song. Mm-hmm. Uh, White Jeans is a must. Uh, Buster says, hello, Karen Amos. White Jeans is a must, but is yeah. it a must with a white denim jacket, that person? All right. <laughs> Sav is tuned in. Sav is uh, my friend and is also a plumber, and he's fitting a new boiler in my house as I speak. And he's wrote on here, oi, oi, Andy. I'm st- still working on your heating, hoping to get it running soon. Well, he so- might do if he wasn't wasting time watching this. <laughs> Come on, Sav, pull your finger out. My mum said um, she got them out of the Marshall Ward catalogue. Anybody else remember Marshall Ward? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Home. Nana had it. Um, anyway. anyway, so you've got a picture to show, uh, a bad double denim picture, if they've not already gone on screen already. Yeah. Uh, a Come picture on. of bad double, double denim. Is that on, Rambo? Yeah. It is. Now, on the left-hand side, you've got uh, status quo. Yeah. I think that's off one of their albums from the mid seventies. And on the right, you've got Shaking Stevens. Now, Shaking the Shaking Stevens picture, I believe, is a play on the the scene I'm thinking in the Elvis movie, Loving You, his second film. Ah, where he's wearing double denim. Now, and I think that's what it's a what, it, what it's a play. That's triple denim uh, in that as well because he's wearing a denim shirt yes. as well. Elvis, <laughs> I saw that picture this afternoon. Looks good. Shaking Stevens, I suspect, just looks a bit eighties. Do, do you yeah. understand what I'm trying, trying to say? The, yeah. the hair was never quite right, was it? Yeah. Um, so you've got a good double double denim picture. Yeah, now, good double denim. Uh, is that one showing now? It's got the picture of David on the left. and yes. Yep. On the left, you see there's David Swade, and David Swade does some bits and pieces for us. He's wearing a lighter blue here, yeah, see, and a darker blue, and a nice shirt. This, now, now, this comes back to what I was saying. They're two diff- they're different shades. But also... That's when it works. But also, let me demonstrate in front of the camera... Which is what I got where I got these out earlier. If we can show that Rambo, let's see if we can get that on the close up. Mm-hmm. I think that it's something to do with colour, Luke. Yeah. Can you see that that bright colour against the two denims? Yeah. I think works. Can't see out, but they're still two. They're too slight. It's still hey? slightly different shades is that better? of blue. Um, oh right. Yeah, you go to the close-up camera on the, the little hoofa doofa thing. Can you see that? Yeah. Anyway, so wearing the yeah the shirt breaks it up, but do you not think? Yeah, it does. But again, bright. they're still slightly different shades. But also, the colours on this particular shirt are in this jacket. Can you see the thread and the blues? Do you, do you understand what I'm yeah, trying to say? No, so well, based on the picture that was up on the screen, yes. Yeah, I'm going to argue that double denim can work. I'm not saying it can't. I I, I agree that it can. But, but a lot um, of people say it doesn't, mate. Well, well, oh, you, you, let's see if there's any uh, anybody. That's what I mean. Keep those keep, keep, well, keep those comments coming, and we'll read them out after we've been to this very short review from our good friend Tom. Good man. Hi, I'm Tom Hoyt, and welcome to a mini review for Mod Shoes. The jackpot shirt in navy, green and red. Featuring a three and a half finger collar roll, a lovely close together button down collar, back collar button, box pleat on the back with a locker loop, no dart sewn in meaning it's a nice classic fit, double button up long cuffs, pocket and this beautiful tartan fabric. They've been a staple of the modernist wardrobe right from the late 50s, early 60s to the Britpop era and they're still as relevant today. They're extremely versatile, they can be dressed up or down and I've put some things here that could go with them. A denim jacket, a beige mac or the safer option but still as classy, a navy mac. Why not pair them with some mod shoes? The Dayton's in jumbo cord, the Brett Chucker boot, the Charles Brogue. These are true to size, I'm a 38 chest and I went with a small and the fit is really bang on. Why not treat yourself today? They're absolutely fantastic and there's loads to choose from. I'm Tom Hoy and that was a mini review for Mod Shoes. Well, thank you, 
Tom. Tom, uh, Tom, yeah. He bless him. He's been doing some of the he's got loads of those. He's been doing some reviews for us. Good lad, got his own radio show and yeah. bits and pieces. So anyway, we've got a few people on here. Um but Chris Dunn's put Dungarees Andy. Well this I was only thinking Dungarees second ago, she said about the first pair of jeans, even though it's not jeans. Dungarees yeah. probably would have been my first pair because I would have had them as a baby. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I hadn't thought about that. So like a nice like red jumpsuit or something. Yeah. And a, like rainbow or something like that. Yeah, that's quite cool. So um some people we're gonna come on to colour jeans here, but Gareth Shepherds wrote, prefer black jeans with desert boots. Look good with a caramel monkey ja- jacket that obviously we sell. Um, hello, Steve James. Sean, depends who's wearing it and how DD is worn. The lads in... Yeah, I Nathan, Nathan, what's that name? Nathan. Nathaniel Radcliffe and the Night Sweats, who are an American band who do a sort of Northern Soul kind of take. They're very good. Check them out. Yeah. Did we show them on More Shoes Live, that first no, one? I can't remember. So. Anyway, but they... I think they're double down everything. But let's move on. Let's. Yeah, right. Cool. Do let's. So we're going to talk about good and bad jeans so we're going to read out some types of jeans and then we will assess whether we like them or whether we don't so the the, the next one is pebble dashed and now thread I, jeans i've never heard of this so now, show, show the picture is it, is it the is it the kerry katona picture going on yes. rambo right on the thread th- jeans so but when you say thread jeans do you mean ripped jeans well like your sister wears that ridiculous so they're thread. not actually like in wayne's world where they've just got big holes in the knees they've got like very thought about well there's on. three pictures on the screen as we speak right. now there's the, the little freddy ones like you're suggesting yeah hold on oh, oh there it is look there's there's the picture yeah yeah, yeah i see yeah. yeah i really can't and then she's got ones for look i know obviously style icon kerry katona on the screen as we're all speaking well i always uh, think of like jeans with holes in the knees as like heavy metal thing yeah yeah oh okay yeah i i, I just some of it i think if it looks right i.e they've worn that way naturally, then perhaps. But it, that just looks so artificial. And the pebble wash one she's wearing on the right-hand side, oh, geez, they're just so 80s. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. yeah no, I mean, no. one we haven't got mentioned in here is, like, we haven't actually got it in here. I don't like ones that have too much of a fade in them. Oh, okay. You know, you know, like, so they might be this colour, but then when you get up to the upper leg... They've practically gone white with, with a, a deliberate fade in the colour. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mine do that because I tap a lot mm-hmm. when I play the drums. Mm-hmm. Anyway, moving on. So the next picture, we've got black jeans. Now, I know you like black jeans. Now, I do and I don't, in all honesty. So sometimes, what, what, I, what I tend to find when you're buying something off the peg, shall we say. Yeah. Because the, well, we started the whole debate, which we don't actually talk about, the skinnies over straight. I personally prefer a skinny jean. So, like... We've got, and, we've got and, we're, we're, and black, sometimes, especially for stage wear, if you buy an off the peg, it's sometimes hard to get a pair of trousers that have the fit that I like, whereas I could buy a pair of black jeans that do. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so, but that's because you should go to your tailor, dear son. <laughs> or you should get me to take them up for you. Well, you know what I mean. But, like, <laughs> so I, I, actually, I actually don't overly like black jeans because... They constantly like attract all the little specks of dirt. <laughs> yes, they do. Especially where I spend, spend all the time like brushing bits of fluff off them. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they they look good, but they're not practical. No, no. Your mum when she she's got some some skilly ones, and when she sat with Harry, half of Harry is on her there. Do you know what I mean? Plus, so, plus when it comes to black jeans, I would only ever pair them with black shoes, whether it's shoes, trainers, or whatever. What about desert boots, like the guy was saying on here? What like what like? Tan ones, like these desert boots, that colour. No, I, I, I wouldn't wear that with black jeans myself. Right. I would well, only, I, I would only wear it with black, with black. Well, shoes. interesting in the picture, you know, he's wearing it with whites, and I think that looks. Yeah, okay. yeah, whites as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Moving on then, let's go on to coloured jeans. Now, when we talk about coloured, I, I've got in my jeans, most of my jeans are, De- what you call denim. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, never lighter than that. Right. For okay. me personally. Yep. Um, black, or I've got a couple of pairs of grey ones. Right. Um, you grey, yeah. Um, but grey is, with the grey ones, it's more of a... That's really difficult. So grey to me is like, the reason I don't like black jeans is, I think it's because of that um, that part of me, that advert in the um, 80s, where the bloke was out of the group because he looked like charcoal. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't even wear them with particular tops and, and only ever with trainers, never with shoes. But Tim Wilson has put uh, Tim uh, has put one of my pet hates is Kerry Katona. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 
Uh, anyway, moving but on. But colour jeans, also, I had a pair of red jeans once. Bright red denim jeans. Yeah, you see, that's... Like, that's like that. You like that? Yeah. That's, that's a different... There's a guy I know, Raphael, from Spain. He looks amazing in colour. Hmm. Me, I... Because I'm short and chunky, I don't I don't think it looks so good on me. I think you, Jake would... Well, the thing good. is, when I had them, I would have worn them, like, going to, like, a punk gig and paired it with, like, a black... Yeah, I'll give you that. T-shirt. No, yeah. I wouldn't have ever paired it with a shirt. Well... It's interesting then, Tina Woodcock's put here, jeans with or without a belt. Uh, well, I, I, I always wear a belt because otherwise they fall down. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but so, where are we... Well, we're we're going to tie a bit of string around them instead. Well, no, 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 no. What she's on about is, is um, some people, like you say, jean, jeans arguably should match. Like, I'm not matched my, my shoes with these. And some people would argue that, that your, your belt should match your your your, your shoes right, okay. yeah and then some people like what you do see and I'm, I'm going to be very careful how else to put this but you do see some skinheads in braces yeah. and then they've still got a belt on oh it's kind of defeats the object yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah which is quite amusing do you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. you see that quite often which is quite a bit uh, funny um, well, so got... I think you need a belt myself I do but I, sh- I forgot to match that That's so fair. boot cut and flared jeans by, there's both... a picture for that one yeah a picture for this by, both are no no for me Personally, right, like just just because now, um, I only wear well. We say skinny. I don't wear skinny skinny. They're like slim, I suppose. Well, it's, so they it's, could, but because of that, which leads us on to the next one in a second. But that that that's just. I mean, no, no. On you, you see, is it? I think it's a bit of a seventies thing. I think flares can look good. Farrah Fawcett in the Charlie's Angels. Yeah, she looks really good in those sort of jeans. Yeah, it, I, I, well. Maybe she can keep them. <laughs> <laughs> Not on you. Well, it, yeah, I mean, when um, the, we we interviewed the farm, and that was all around that Stone, Stone Roses period. Mm. Everybody wore baggy jeans then. I yeah. mean, it just that seemed to. Well, everybody did when I when I was growing up at, at, as well, like at secondary school, and there were so many people uh, like sort of skaters. Yeah. And they all wore baggy jeans that, at that time. Like sk- skinny jeans didn't didn't come back for my age until I, I was. About sixteen, yeah, like, yeah, it's true. I mean, Oasis were reasonably baggy jeans, weren't they through the nineties? I mean, is it kind of then it would have been the skater thing, wouldn't it? You would have been right. Let's have the debate then about skin, skinny jeans. I've got a real problem with skinny jeans in this because we played. Do you remember we played at the Dublin Castle and this guy was on before? So he was a great guy. And we got we got a picture to go with this one. Yeah, we? we have got a picture, that, and he's he had he had um. His skinny jeans, yeah. and he had a phone. If do you remember, he had his phone in one side and his fag oh, pocket yeah, in the other. See, see. Yeah, but and the thing just, is, oh, in, inside awful. inside the label, which I won't pull my trousers down to show you, mm-hmm. says these are skinny, and they don't look anything like that picture that's on the uh, going to be on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a, uh, you know, it's up for debate. Like those sort of, you know, like stretch skinny. I mean, they look like leggings, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they do. They do. It's, uh, Right, stuff you can wear with jeans. Um, I just wanted to do a couple of contentious things. I have a bit of a problem with this. Um, I don't like formal shoes like that. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, so it's black. I don't know if you can see that. Black with the, the denim. See, it's you... not that you don't like formal shoes. You don't like black formal shoes. Yeah, no. With, that with don't jeans. Work. What no. about with black jeans then? Yeah, that might be all right. Mm. But not, not denim jeans. Whereas I do like, you know, like we obviously sell them. You know, put them with a pair of oh yeah, yeah, I the do. burgundy because the burgundy is, is in that color. One race. thing, one thing we haven't mentioned, which I am gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw in very quickly here, the turn up. Ah, you see, that's what. I, that, and, <laughs> yeah, and the same. Like, um, we we. Is, no, but is is the turn up something to do with the jeans not being quite the right length, or is it to do with deliberately wanting them? Well, the skinhead thing obviously is to show a bit of the boot, isn't it? Yeah. And and it's deliberate. And there's some de- talk, especially around skinhead circles, whether how much of that's turned up. This is turned up like this. Mm. Shall I tell you what? Because I've had this shoes since last summer when you had a barbecue around your house, mm. and I didn't have anything clean to put on. And I literally got these out of the packet, turned these up, put them on the iron, and wore around your house that day. And so they've retained that that that. Have you heard of washing them? Yeah. Very dare you. <laughs> they're not going to retain that turn up if they go in the washing machine are they yeah you just well, wash them and turn them back up again that's not retained a turn up 
Well, he's never taken the turn up, but they've, 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 they've stayed there like indefinitely. That old silly boy. And you iron it in, you know. But some people sew it in. Like you've just turned that, haven't you? Of course. Whereas, I have. Yeah, so I have on that. But some people sew it in, don't they? I haven't got time to wonder web me turn up. <laughs> wonder web. <laughs> So, hey, black form, so black formal shoes are a no-no, so I, I'm, I'm in agreement with that. Cord shoes, well, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to say yes. Yeah, I mean, the obvious one is like trainers and things like that. Isn't it? I mean, and I've got a bit of a, I've got a bit of a thing. If we're going to talk about ultimate outfits, sorry, people, you've got my P-U-M. I mean, I love that, to me. So th that colour, that colour, and that colour together. That colour, but the, yeah, uh, you wear them. Yeah. But my, uh, my socks have got guitars on. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think and obviously we sell all you know we sell some jeans we sell these and this and i just I, when i when i'm putting together what we sell mm -hmm. my brain is thinking will, will that will they look good with jeans because i i think most of us probably 90 percent of us spend a lot of time in jeans mm -hmm. we might be called mod shoes and it'd be lovely that we all walk around in suits all the while but most people don't do yeah. they you know what so, I mean? so yeah your go-to yeah. outfit with jeans then so you've just kind of said it because you like yeah. pairing a pair of those shoes, that colour socks with your jeans. What on top? Um, probably a Gabichi sort of top. I'd be yeah. I'd be the same now with the, with the top, particularly the mustard one which has matched those socks. Yeah. Uh, but I, I I have two, and then the white denim jacket which I got from yeah. from here. I just I just love that look, the white denim against the dark blue jeans. Yeah. I just think it. I've always. But do you not think works. like the t-shirt that we're going to be doing soon? Of course, t-shirts always. Yeah. T-shirt jeans and like you say and like those cords you've got an instant look it's mm. good to think i Definitely. think jeans i think jeans are i think certain jeans look good on certain people i, I think like you say you're you're of an age where you can wear that jean well, apparently not that. actually because uh well no apparently i am but uh, <laughs> yeah. there was a thing that uh, popped up on facebook the other day uh, that said apparently kids on tiktok are saying that if you have your hair sweeped to the side and you wear skinny jeans you're officially considered old now <laughs> Is that you then? That's me. <laughs> so at, 30, at 32, I am officially an old timer. All oh, right, I'll oh, bless you. Cheers, young people. Luckily, I don't give two hoots what they think. But yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, team, so any the, further things on social media? Yeah, Tina Woodcock. If they have belt hooks, should they always wear a belt? Arguably, that's the truth. Um, I've never ever seen a pair of jeans without them. No, I mean there's some I think trousers without them, but not jeans. Well, there's an argument. If you have a suit tailored, mm. you wouldn't be wearing. Because the point is, it's been tailored. It's been tailored a bit, yeah. Unless you've so, not been very well. Uh, Pete Cole's seventies three button high waisted brush denim. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, mate. I I remember all of that. There's some there's some good looking girls like Farrah Fawcett and Charlie's Here Angels around again. Yeah, we had to get the blondes in somewhere. Uh, Lucy Porter, hello. Uh, Potter, even sorry. Uh, Rolo writes, if you get fat like me, all jeans are skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Wilson, straight leg, regular fit with turn ups and ironed increases. Also, the belt and braces style is from Wolfie and Sitson Smith, as he has an S belt. Do you know about S belts? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skinny jeans look great if you're seven, a seven stone. Andrew Manning says, fair point. Skinny jeans with big, loose, hanging material, nappy like at the arse is a crime against style. <laughs> yeah, I think we all know what um, Sean's on about then. Hello, John. Hello, Melody. Uh, Tim Wilson, totally agree. Another, another one of my pet hates, he said. Jonathan Rees. Would you wear your 66 white polka dot black shirt with jeans or not? No. Oh, no. Do you, do you know black, like a polka with black jeans, yeah. Black jeans, yeah. If I was on stage, I wouldn't even think twice about it because black jeans are sort of fading in, aren't you? Hmm. Um, I don't black like jeans black jeans. Black jeans or white jeans? White jeans, but look miles white, Wear it with white jeans. But isn't that um, um, uh, Steve Diggle's go-to outfit? Hmm. White jeans and a polka dot top. Uh, um, yeah. I think we're all good. Have we got anything else? No, that, I think that's everything. So next, so next week we're going to be talking about our favourite LP covers or album covers. Um, yeah, I've got, I've already got some of mine lined up. So the thing, the the post will go up late, late um, later in the week before Friday. Well, one of Share the some of yours with us. One of the reasons I mentioned it is, and we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get hopefully get some re reaction from Mark. Mark is a, a friend of mine on Facebook, and he's been doing those bigger things where they're big like that mm. and um then and he, uh, he draws them and uh, not draws them he paints on them mm. and they're big lp covers but they're thick as well so they're like an art piece does that yeah. make sense and it made me think oh that's interesting he's done quite a few blue note jazz albums and he's done done the setting suns the jam one and it looks magnificent and to see it big a 
as a painting like that mm. is superb. So I thought we'd do some something about cover art mm -hmm. and talk about some of the things. So an obvious example, like my generation, the, the, you know, the Who one. You know, we can mm. talk about that and some of the clothes and what it means. Mm. So that's on Friday. Um, I don't think there's any other business today. No. Other than we're going to play out with the bus stop lovers, which is Dave from Portsmouth. Hello, Dave, if you're watching in. I think the song's called On Fire. And we'll see you all on Friday. Have a good week, everyone. Yep. Good one. See you later. Thank you.